The latest highlights package on Panthers TV with the GMB and this time it's the GMB Nottingham Panthers against the Brayhead clan. Nottingham versus Glasgow, England versus Scotland, Nielsen versus Trip. Best buddies off the ice but behind the benches it'll only be smiles on the outside. Panthers looking to get back to winning ways but so are the clan. It'll be a top flight clash between the best Scotland's got to offer and we like to think the best England's got to offer too. Your referee tonight is Michael Hicks. On the microphone, it's Dan Green. First time we've seen them at full strength. Their first two league games resulted in losses last weekend. As Robert Farmer starts off straight away. Rob Farmer in shot. Good save by Ryan Nye here. Mosin Mokshansev. Down behind the net, David Clark in front to Lindhagen. and he couldn't get a shot on it. We're going to be back to full strength in five seconds. Spang to Mokshansev right through the crease, a good chance. Clark now walks from the half wall. Lindhagen, who's been heavily involved so far. Back to Mosey. Mosey shot and a goal! Evan Mosey scores his first of the year from the point. And it's 1 0 to the Nine and Panthers. Great one-timer from Evan Mosey, low blocker on Ryan Knight, assisted by Lindhagen. And at 13.29 left in the first, the Panthers take a 1-0 lead. Panthers short sponsors from McDonald's Zach Phillips' unit out now on the power play. Giveaway. Giveaway by Sove. Breakaway for Matt Haywood. Short-handed Haywood and a good save. Rebound. And it's in from Mike Embach, a short-handed goal from the Brayhead clan. Puck won back to Sove, Sove tried to go D to D. Bad ice there, Puck jumped on him. Haywood comes in, Garnett with a great save, but the puck falls right to Mike Embach, who fires that into the empty net to tie the game, short-handed. Pelini and Bassier play catch. Shallow comes to help. Nice play there, back to Billingsley. Billingsley to Pelini. Pelini cuts in, shoots, and a nice save by Ryan Nye. Pelini loses the draw. Brayhead will keep this alive. Rob Farmer comes flying through the middle here. Mosey in support. Mosey's going to the net. Nice play by Farmer to Josh Schaller. And it's in from Josh Schaller on the rebound. Great play from Rob Farmer. He hits Josh Shallow, a great save again by Nye, but Shallow's there to follow up the rebound. Josh Shallow buries for the Panthers with 1.16 left to give them a 2-1 lead. Sheffield homegrown player, been in Brayhead for eight seasons. Lakovic. Good play there again by Haywood as he comes down the ice. But Stevie Lee does well to recover. Brace now for the clan. In front, Haywood again. Haywood's in front alone, and Matt Haywood scores to tie the game at 2 2. Scrappy from the Panthers in their own end. And Brace, a nice play in front of Haywood, and Haywood all alone. Time to turn and fire between the legs of Mike Garnett. Puck coming back in. Garnett will come out to play this. And he plays it behind, straight to an oncoming clan player, Burt in front, and a save by Garnett, and he doesn't know where he is, and Brendan Brooks fires into the empty net. Garnett played it behind, a clan player got there first, into the slot, and in front, first save again from Garnett. But the rebound falls right to, I believe, Brendan Brooks, who fires that in to give them the 3-2 lead, and a goal at the other. Jeff Brown takes a stick to the face. And the Panthers will go straight with the power. But I think that was accidental there from Patoni. He got taken down as his stick swung. And hit Brown in the face. It's going to be at least two minutes here. As Brown doesn't look happy with something. A little bit of a skirmish. I think Brace said something to him there. Fired Brownie right up, he didn't like that. Brayhead clan win the face off to Patolny.
Patoni now, who's out the corner, shoots, saved by Garnett, but he hasn't got it. And Brace fires in and puts the rebound in to give the clan a 4-2 lead. Again, Garnett with the first save. The puck between his legs. Garnett didn't know where it was, and Brace comes in and cleans that one up. Power play goal for the clan, 4-2 lead for them. Goalie change for the Nottingham Panthers. Sam Gospel is going to come in and replace Mike Garnett. A couple of rebounds there for Garnett, which I'm sure he might have wanted. Sove now will carry the puck, make a big hit behind the net as he looks to get the offense going. Delego, Pellini, good save by Ryan Knight. Pushing and shoving between Olansky and Sove. Nice face-off win there by Bussier. Lakovic looks back door for Billingsley, just a little bit wide of him. Betridge to Billingsley, nice play there. Billingsley on the overlap, pinching down. Bussier looking to create something, being kept at bay. Back to Billingsley on the point. Billingsley shoots through traffic. Nye, no, good save. It falls to Betridge, and Oli Betridge scores! And the Panthers are right back in this one. With 15 minutes left in the period. Great play by Billingsley on the point. He gets it through. And Betridge picks up the rebound and pots his first of the season. Panthers are back in this one. Polini and Shattuck battle for this one. Shattuck comes out. The victor and it goes up to Brooks. Planning going to come into the zone here with Brooks. He throws it to the net. And a save by Gospel, he's going to hold on to that one. Goal. Nice work there from Matt Haywood to pick that pass out of the air. Haywood with two points tonight for the clan. Rob Lakovic. Lakovic for Betridge. Betridge gets it on target and a great save by Ryan Nye. Betridge didn't get a lot on that, but a save, puck up in the air, and he manages to glove it and keep the score at 4-3 their spots and give themselves a minute or so good start here as Polini picks the puck up he throws it to the net now Stevie Lee keeps the play alive Polini down low Polini in front <coughs> Clan though looking to get that out and now Brooks Brooks to center ice he's gonna fire it and that's in that's gonna seal this one as Brendan Brooks fires that one into the empty net Great Britain International and with 74 seconds remaining in the game, it looks like the clan have iced this one.